Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about Vesta and Scorpio in a natal chart. Now, where Vesta is placed in your natal chart, this can show uh, the area where you have a lot of concentration of power and power of concentration and an area in life where you don't allow extraneous things to interfere with what you're doing, where you don't want to be uh, diverted away from, where, where you show tremendous uh, focus. Now, if you have Vesta in Scorpio, this could be in something Scorpio-like, such as astrology, the occult supernatural, it could even be like in a Scorpio-like profession, such as forensics, investigation, pathology. You might be very uh, good and in proficient in, in psychoanalysis and show a lot of focus in doing so, deciphering characters and motives of others, getting to the bottom of things, extensive research, something connected with transformation, such as recycling, uh, might be something connected with, uh, with mechanical ability. Now, where Vesta is located in our natal chart can also show where we have that, that where we make that rationalized and analyzed choice of a sexual partner, one which we uh, want perhaps through rationalization and through uh, through analysis. Now, and if you have Vesta in Scorpio, well, this could wind up being somebody that has Scorpio prominent in his or her chart. So when I say prominent in the chart, of course, I'm talking about a Scorpio sun, moon, or ascendant, or it can simply be somebody that may embody Scorpio-like characteristics. This could be a person that is very resilient, very powerful, charismatic, magnetic, rather incisive, mysterious, very secretive, uh, exudes a lot of sexuality, someone that has an indomitable spirit and very strong willpower, and very intense and uh, passionate. Now, where Vesta is located on, in our natal chart can also show where we show a lot of strong devotion and dedication. And if you have Vesta in Scorpio, well, this could be in perhaps digging deep, uh, finding lost items or merchandise, uh, transformation, uh, being in control. It could be connected with things that are crisis uh, oriented and ending things uh, as well. Um, Scorpio is the sign, of course, associated with death, and Scorpio, I think, has a very strong propensity for, a, for being able to uh, end things in a figurative sense. They could be about eradicating things and also showing strong devotion, dedication to, thing, to probing and getting, getting to the heart of matters, understanding, deciphering the characters and motives of other uh, people. And also, we're... Uh, Vesta is located in our natal chart can show where we want to be infallible and perfect. Now, hardly anybody is infallible or perfect in any way, shape, or form, but where Vesta is located in our charts can show where we want to be very, we want to be perfect. We have that strong desire to at least be as close to perfect as possible in that area. Now, and, and if you have Vesta in Scorpio, this could be uh, connected with a Scorpio-like thing, such as I mentioned before, like astrology, the occult, the supernatural. It could be something with an investigation, uh, understanding characters and motives, others being a good judge of these characters and, and really uh, perhaps intuitively understanding people and their, and their motives. It could be also uh, being in control of whatever situation and, and really never failing in doing so. Now, also where Vesta is located in our natal charts can show where we don't want to be uh, restricted. And if you have Vesta in Scorpio, well, this could be like issues connected with power and control. It could be the ability to make a strong major change or transformation. You don't want to be held up in doing so if you feel you need to. And also even sexual energy. Scorpio is, I think, unequivocally the, the most sexual uh, sign of the zodiac. So anyway... It's also important to look at the house placement of Vesta in the natal chart, as this could um, this could impact the description and delineation. Now, let's say if you have a Vesta and Scorpio in your fifth house in your natal chart, well, you might like to kind of get to the bottom of things uh, or doing doing something fun and enjoyable where you're getting to the bottom of things, such as some kind of mystery uh, board game for example, or playing clue, things that are fun and enjoyment where you, uh, where you, where you really uh, 
where, where you're getting where you're solving mysteries or it could even be solving uh, solving puzzles trying to solve things but doing so in a way where it might be connected with a hobby and might be some kind of video game or board game something that's enjoyable uh, for you and uh, also um, and let's say you have let's take another example let's say you have Vesta and Scorpio in your first house in your natal chart well Scorpio is of course strongly about transformation and first house is associated with the physical body so you could be really put a lot of devotion and dedication perhaps into that transformation of the physical body and it could be somebody for example that works out vigorously and really does what they have to do to make those important changes connected with the physique and how they they appear to other uh, people now it's also important to look at the aspects of any that are made to your Vesta and Scorpio in your natal chart as this could impact the description as well now let's say if you have Vesta and Scorpio uh, making well, let's say it makes an opposition in your natal chart makes an opposition to a Taurus ascendant well Vesta and Scorpio can be dedicated and devoted perhaps to ending things, to being able to eradicate things, to put an end to things in life that they think are not, uh, that really are not significant or might be holding them back, for example. But with Taurus is set in Taurus, uh, even though it's a fixed sign, Taurus can have a lot of difficulty in ending things. Taurus will even often, I believe, stay in relationships, for example, that are detrimental to them. And, and they just seem to procrastinate an ending because it's just so fixed and unwavering. So you would, for example, in that example, you would have a conflict uh, and with that. And anytime you have, you know, major, uh, you have any adverse aspect, there may, of course, that can cause some exasperation. So that's one uh, example of that as far as an aspect to Vest and Scorpio. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for Vesta and Scorpio in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about Vesta and Sagittarius in a natal chart. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well